Hello, it's Sam here. Just before we get started this week, uh, obviously this episode is called Battleship and is about military stuff like that. And it's actually the start of three films we're doing of a similar theme. Uh, considering what's going on in the world right now, um, for the future, this is 27th of February I'm recording this. And obviously Ukraine is uh, under some pretty horrific attacks from Russia. And so this is bad timing all around. Uh, we're still putting it up because it's... You know, it's science fiction and it's nonsense. So use your discretion whether you want to listen to a podcast about military stuff right now. Uh, no offence is meant. And obviously, all our thoughts are with Ukraine. Peace and love. Fuck Putin. And enjoy the show. Bye. Bye. call to teach you humility i'm sorry i don't have that number yes that's right <laughs> this is a science fiction rating system that unbelievably is a quote from the 2020 2012 film battleship and we are here to talk about it my name is alex humphrey and i am joined by chris redding hey chris hello yeah. hey how are you chris good 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 and sam draper how are you sam hello i'm very well thank you good i'm glad now right First things first, I've shown these guys already, but I I have a battleships here, right? So we'll we we'll be playing battleships throughout while we do battleships. We're working on a standard battleship formation. The grid is uh, one one to ten at the top, uh, A to J at the bottom. Right. Um, what we're gonna do? Uh, you're gonna be. Uh, I'll work it out. Chris, you're gonna be red pegs, um, and uh, Sam, you're going to be white pegs. Um, and uh, do, you put, do you first want to just have a go? Do you want to fire off? Go for it, yeah. Okay, so uh, Chris, so yeah, you've got one, one to ten at the top, A to J at the bottom. Give me a, give me a, a coordinate, please. <laughs> um, 9B. 9B. Oh, my God. Oh, That's a hit. No. Oh, it's a hit. No. He's got a hit already. He's got okay. some sort of intel. Sam. Yeah. Sam, where are you going to uh, go? J8. 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 Hey, uh, it's a miss, sorry. We should be filling this in our side, really. So. <laughs> yeah, you should be. Yeah, you should be. But anyway. Uh, right, so, battleships. Um, we're doing this as part of a strange season of uh, battleships. Battleship-related season. science fiction. I mean, there is a link, because this has got Rihanna in it, and it's why... Ship I'm, genre. It made me think of this when we did Valerian... Um, yes. City of a Thousand Planets. So I was like, oh yeah, she's in Battleship, isn't she? Um, Just about. It's a 2012 film directed by Peter Berg, whose big credit is Friday Night Lights, uh, that mm. American football film. Um, had either of you seen Battleship before? Yes. No. Uh, no. See, I hadn't seen it uh, either. Um, Chris, didn't you say you'd seen it more than once? Yeah, it, it, they keep putting it on telly, so it's been one of those oh. whilst cooking type... Right. Businesses. <laughs> right. Well, for those that don't know, Battleship, this is from Wikipedia, is a 2012 American military science fiction action film based on a board game of the same name. In the film, the crew of a small group of warships are forced to battle against a naval fleet <laughs> of extraterrestrial <laughs> origin in order to thwart their destructive goals. That wasn't what the game was about, though, was it? No. No. Now, I'm going to open with this. This is, you can, you can get, uh, there's, some, there's some more shots at the Battleship to go. Okay, so Hasbro own Battleship, right? Mm. So this is a technically a Hasbro, a film based on a Hasbro game. There are four other films, franchises actually, some of, two of them are franchises, uh, based <laughs> on Hasbro games. Can you name any of them? Transformers. No, games, board games. These are based uh, on board games. Ouija Board of Evil? Or Ouija Board of Evil? Whoa, well done, Sam. Yeah. Ouija is a trademark of Hasbro. Yeah. So when we call them Ouija boards, we are actually referencing Hasbro. There's a Clue film? Clue's there too. Oh, yeah, he's, you're getting this a double, double two shots for you there, Sam. Chris, any, any suggestions? G.I. Joe. No. There's a very American one that we don't have that this game in Hard this cheesy. No. Uh, and there's, there's a very American one, and there's a very big game that you've heard of that you probably didn't think Hasbro owned. Jumanji? No. Monopoly? No. 
Risk. Vo- no. <laughs> okay. Candyland is a very American one. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's, yeah. And Dungeons and Dragons is technically uh, owned by. Um, uh, and do you know they're been... not really a board game, is it though? No. Well, Ouija board. Ouija isn't a board game. <laughs> no, <definitely. laughs> but it is. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons was a huge flop, uh, but there are two sequels. Uh, the second, the third film is called The Book of Vile Darkness, which is. Uh, is that a Uwe Boll one? Uh, I don't know. No, no, it's not. No. Oh no, Dungeon um, Siege is his one, wasn't it? That's with yeah. Uh, yeah. The first one's got uh, Marlon Wayne, Thora Birch, and Jeremy Irons in it, which is like <laughs> when I think Dungeons and Dragons, I think Marlon Wayne's. It's definitely yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Sam, you you earn two more two more shots. Oh, uh, you're white, so go for it. Uh, uh, B two, B two. Oh, <sighs> yeah. This yeah, it was a good shot though. And I'll go uh, D six. I bet there's an online thing that we could do, right? Yeah, probably, but this is... I like how old school this is. Yeah, this is... No, sorry, two misses there. Well done for getting those over. Right, so, battleships. Um, We start off uh, with a little title card saying, In 2005, scientists discover a distant planet believed to have a climate nearly identical to Earth. In 2006, NASA built a transmission device five times more powerful than any before it, and a program to contact that planet began. It was known as the Beacon Project. Now, the beginning of this film is quite a lot like... It's very sci-fi, isn't it? What year was that sent out, that, that signal? 2006 oh, is when the signal sent out. Okay. So they, they found... Say where, did they ever say where the planet was? No. But it's been... Uh, they do say how long it's been since they sent how the signal out. How long did it out. have been? Oh, God, I've written that down. Uh, it's 2012 now. It's been six years. Okay, so only one planet that could have reached. Yeah. At the speed of light. So are you saying that this not is... Not planet G. Not the planet G. No. no. Well, it'd be like, it'd be Alpha Centauri or Proxima Centauri, you know, the ones at the Avatar. Yeah. Oh, okay. One, so yeah. Don't, don't you that's think... five light years. And actually, you wouldn't get a return in that time, so... No, no you'd have to be three out and three, <laughs> three yeah, back, that's, wouldn't that's, you? Well, sit five out is five out. Five back. God, okay. The reveal of the name Planet G is strange because they're like, the guy <laughs> goes and they called it Planet G. And it's going to be something yeah. really cool. But it's yeah, the, no, it's a terrible, it's a terrible name. name for Planet. Also, they do this, this, this ridiculous thing of having some characters that are going to be in it later on, but by the time they're back in it, you kind of forgot who they were. I mean, I did. Oh, yeah. yeah so you've got the scientist. Kind of stupid English and the, guy. The, again. Yeah, the scientist guy that's... Um, the main scientist guy who's in uh, quite a lot of TV things. And then the main nerd guy who is actually my favourite character. The main nerd guy. Uh, he is my favourite. He is head nerd. head nerd. Oh, God, what's his name? Cal Zapata, uh, played by Hamish Linklater. Uh, I like him. He's great. Um, but the guy yeah, with the big ears? No, that's it, not him, is it? Just the stupid the one. The, the one main that, guy. The one who has to get courage. Yeah, to go and get the yeah, uh, yeah. box. Yeah, he's my favourite. <laughs> Um, but then anyway, after this kind of sci-fi opening, we cut to some very nondescript white guys in a bar. Terrible. Uh, I mean, this is terrible, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's nosedive, this film. It's so slow to get going again, isn't it? Yeah. This chicken, chicken burrito saga lasts forever. Oh, my God. So, yeah, he's trying I'd to... i forgotten about this scene. Shout out this girl, and she wants a burrito, and they're not serving one. Do you, do you realise, right, that if you think about it, you know uh, the guy from 24 who's at the bar, the big guy? Oh, yeah. Who's the barman, and she goes, can I get a chicken burrito? And he goes, well, no, kitchen's closed, and he slams the microwave door shut. Yeah. That microwave door is almost responsible for the destruction of the whole world, isn't it? Oh, no, so it saves the world because if it, oh. if you didn't close that microwave door, it's that true. guy wouldn't have got in so much trouble and got in the Navy and saved the world, would he? So yeah, it's true. Got- so he never solved the problem of he still went and got a cold burrito from the shop. <laughs> no, he microwaves it in the shop. Does he? Yeah, he Does microwaves he? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the shop and he microwaves it and then he puts the cash on the thing and tries to get out again. Did you, right. did you notice what the owner of the shop yells at him? I wrote it down. It's too late to eat a burrito. <laughs> too many complex carbs. Yeah, that was nearly my opening quote, but I was that's like, the most, "That's the most scientifically accurate line of the it's, film." It's really yeah. weird as well. It's obviously an over, overdub because, like, she's off screen, isn't she? And you yeah. see it in the background. Yeah, obviously, yeah. I thought we better add that line in, make it more. Yeah, have a bit real. of uh, post-production sass. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, and then the whole break in. Uh, did you know what this was a parody of? This break in scene. Did you know it was a parody? It was, it was playing the Pink Panther music. Is it? A well, p- it's a parody, parody of an that? actual liquor store break in that's on YouTube, where the guy kind of all the things this guy does, how he falls and everything is. That's what happened wow. in real. Yeah, in go real for the life. American the t- hero. The, yeah. the timeless references there. Yeah, a but YouTube yeah, like you say, breaking. with the Pink Panther theme that just makes it so odd. Very unearned, isn't it? Yeah, it's such a, a tonal shift, isn't it, from that that big introduction where it's like Planet G drama, drama, drama. Now it's just some yeah. drunk hippie. And also, the, get straight away a ridiculous plot point. The guy Ale- Alexander Skarsgård knows that that's the Admiral's daughter. Why yeah. does he not stop him hitting on her and being so ridiculous? The, the, the main character if, if he knows who that is why does he wait till the next day to start shouting him going oh that was the Admiral's daughter you yeah. idiot like he Maybe knew it was found out like after I think he I don't, I don't know I think he knew I mean she but... works in the military as well so she's actually on the base isn't she yeah yeah, so yeah, she, yeah. he would know yeah. that yeah but anyway enough of that the title comes up Battleship now I always thought the game was called Battleships did you did you mm, no no you just thought it was called Battleship I, I think so. Really thought it Never no, really thought. no, okay. It, it makes less sense to me. Uh, we're in we're in Hawaii for the uh, Rimpack, uh, which is the I don't know what. I it, mean, it's a stupid game at the end of the day, isn't it? Oh, it is a very stupid game. Yeah, it is a very stupid game. Do you want another shot, by the way? Do you want another shot? <laughs> sure. That, that bit of sass has earned you a, a shot. Yeah, go for it. Go on, Chris. Where do you want to go? Uh, five. Five. D. Five. D. I should make a note for it, shouldn't I? Five. Fucked up. A in. B C D. Oh no, no. I've got yes. a. I've got a great, oh, good. Go great system going on. Uh, Sam, where do you want to go? Uh, hang on. I'm just. I've just because copying to paint. My. Can you tell me where <laughs> I've been already? No, I'm not going to do that. There's well, only think, been one hit. I think I went B two. So I'll put that. You on did here. go B two. I'll tell I you if I you went, don't. Yeah. If you I if you say the same thing, I'm not. I'm going to tell you that. Six and I went J eight. So right. Okay. They've got this in. Right. I'm going to go for G four. G four. No, sorry, miss. Oh. Um, anyway, yeah, so they're at the Rim Pack, which is just fun and games for the Navy. Um, and uh, basically... Hang on, is, is this a real thing? I, I see, yeah, it must be. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. Where yeah. all competing navies from across the world come together and have a big fight? Well, it's not... It's not it's, it's war it's games, friendly it? navies having yeah. a war game. Yeah. Right. Uh, I can tell you what navies it is. It is, because I wrote it down. Oh, God. Oh, it does happen. I've just Googled it. It is real. The rim pack is real. It's Japan, Malaysia, Australia, Singapore, and the USA. Uh, and they're all... Yeah. It's, they're at Pearl Harbor, aren't they? But they, they're very funny about saying that they're at Pearl Harbor. They don't really say it much, do they? But they are at Pearl Harbor, aren't they? It's, like, sacred to Americans. Yeah, they don't... They only say, oh, we're near... They, they, they don't just go, oh, we just sailed out Pearl Harbor, do they? they? But they are at Pearl Harbor, aren't they? They start off there, I think. Yeah, they definitely... Rimpac didn't stop for uh, COVID. They went straight through COVID. Oh, good for them. On the 29th of August, 2020, they, they all teamed up and sunk the USS Durham, a Charleston-class amphibious cargo vessel. It was decommissioned in 1994. We'll get together and just blow the shit out of a boat. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> sounds, yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of testosterone, isn't there? I mean, there's there's literally a scene where the main character of this film, who we're supposed to like, just yells not only at the Japanese team, but at his own teammates, and then insists on taking a penalty and misses so like so ridiculously, doesn't he? The way he misses. Oh, the football, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like their misunderstanding of football because there's lots of shots of the goalkeeper who appears in the middle of the pitch, <laughs> just surrounded by players. <laughs> it's pretty basic research to work yeah. out where the keeper should be playing. And there's all this... All... Just, just them, like, rounders. Yeah. Or... Yeah. And all the way through, there's this very annoying overdubbed commentary of, like, oh, and he's taking it through the side. Oh, oh yeah, the God. English like, guy, yeah. yeah. It's really, like... <laughs> It's very Michael Bay, isn't it? It's very like it's excessive. extremely Michael Bay. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, it's kind of odd that at this point we're fifteen minutes in and we've had a sci-fi, an action comedy, war movie, and now a sports film, and we've only had fifteen minutes of the film, um, yeah. and none of this is related to Battleship. Yeah, nothing's actually happened yet. No. Mm. So um, they, uh, it's a bit of stuff between. Six years, yes, yeah, six years have passed. We we now find out through a very very small like comment, off the cuff comment made by one of the football commentators. Yeah, I missed that altogether. I didn't yeah. realise that. No, happened. no, no. It's really just like they just say it. Like uh, the daughter, the sexy uh, daughter of the admiral, is dating the main guy who's called Alex, 
Um, why? I don't know. Yeah, because he's still a fuck up. He's he? still a complete idiot. Yeah, uh, he's in the navy, <laughs> but somehow managed to become an officer in the navy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I don't get that. Uh, and then we meet Liam Neeson, uh, who is the admiral, and I mean, he must have got a great paycheck for this. Must he's he? really struggling with an American accent, isn't he? He's, <laughs> he is. Yeah. Yeah, he is. It's I a mean, strange it, voice. What was it, like two days filming, probably? Yeah, if good, that. Good for him. Good for him. Him I'll and the that. guy out of um, Ali McBeal and Ghostbusters 2. Yes, yeah. yeah good He's for getting them. paid for like about three hours of work, isn't he? Just... Yeah. Uh, it's at this stage where we discover the most ridiculous thing about this film, which is that very little of this film is actually set on a battleship. <clears throat> I mean... It's, it's definitely ridiculous. I'm not sure it's the most ridiculous thing. There's it's a lot, okay. lot to come, but yeah, it's, it's definitely there. ridiculous, yeah. And we get an explanation of what the difference between battleships and destroyers are. Did you guys know this? I bet Chris knew this. Chris knows this, yeah. Yeah. So uh, on, for then, all Chris. those... Uh, do you want to say it, Chris? I've got it written down. <clears throat> well, a battleship is the sort of large ships that they used to have in the Second World War. Yeah. What's a destroyer? Yeah. It's a destroyer is like what they have now, which back then was a smaller yeah. sort of could get in and about them. You're hitting all the main points here. Battleships yeah. are heavily armoured. Destroyers are moderately armoured. Battleships yeah. have a large number of crew. Destroyers are automated. Battleships mm. are sluggish on the water. Destroyers are swift. The guns mm. on battleships are short range, while destroyers have long range guns. Is a cruiser a thing? A, a, a cruiser. Yeah, a cruiser was like... Oh, had. Yeah the guns of a battleship but not of the armour so it could go quicker right mm. what are the yeah. four sorts in the game have they got um, names you've kind of got like a, a destroyer a battleship an aircraft I could, I've got an aircraft carrier aircraft yeah. carrier uh, I've got a submarine yeah I've got a battleship a destroyer yeah. and then this little tiny tug thing like a little two two, a two, two space one. yeah would do you want a shot would, like a frigate have would a the shot submarine be affected there by surface fire Shouldn't the submarine be sort of survive? I guess my submarine's surfaced at this point. Go on, have a shot. Have a shot. <laughs> C9. B9. Oh, you're white, aren't you? B... I C9. 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 Sorry. Yes. C9. <gasps> oh, you guys have sunk the small one. Well done. Okay, so... Thank you, uh, little dude. Chris. The little one is off the table. Chris, have a shot. Did he hit me, yeah? Yeah. Okay. No, it's me, remember. You're both shooting at me. Oh, oh right. Oh, so oh, it's the same board, is it? Right, yeah, okay. you're both against me. I have right. one oh, set I have of been ships. writing his down on my Oh, map. sorry. I've got, got two boards. Fuck no, it, hell. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I wonder why you weren't switching it back and forward. So no, I've just either. got one board. <laughs> C6. C6. No. C6. Right, I'll cross that off. Right. No, no, sorry. You missed. But you have sunk one ship. You're, you're both... You're currently... Uh, you you both got one one hit, okay. one hit each. Basically, yeah. you're doing well. Mm. Um, so then we get again another character you're supposed to like that little blonde dude. He just starts doing these weird kind of racist impressions of the well, well, when well, they're well, like what little blonde dude. The the blonde guy that knows about lizards. Isn't he ginger? Oh, is he ginger? I don't know. Jesse Jesse Plemons off Breaking Bad. Is it him? He's oh yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah. But you know all the people, the dignitaries are coming up, and he's like going "Konnichiwa." Oh yeah, yeah doing the racist like, impressions. Oh, of him. Yes, like, yes. He's just making these like weird really his racist mate. kind of. Yeah. And Rihanna's just like, "What are you doing? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> shut up!" <laughs> I mean, I didn't think Rihanna was that bad in this. To be honest, I mean, I mean, she has three hundred eighteen words of dialogue. <laughs> three hundred eighteen. Well, yeah, I've got them all here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, are they good? They're pretty good. She gets one of the best lines. Mahala, motherfucker. That's one of the best lines. <laughs> I mean, it's a line. Yeah. Uh, also, so basically, oh, so the, the boring romance plot is that this main guy wants to marry the Admiral's daughter, so he goes and sees the Admiral. So his brother was already in the Navy, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he got in because of his brother, like, you know, in schools where you, you get... Autism, isn't it? Yeah, I guess. I think I've read somewhere that there's an implication that he's already in the Navy, in the scene, in the bar. But, I mean, that they're not making that clear. It looks no. like he just signs up within this six-year period and then gets to command a ship, like, quite quickly. Um, but, yeah, Liam Neeson's not having any of this. Uh, he says... It's a uh, bit like Star Trek, the 2009 one, really, because he was, he was a fuck-up and he managed to get become the captain quite quickly right yeah kirk yeah yeah, mm. yeah. i mean 
Liam Neeson has this guy's number. He says, What my daughter sees in you is a great mystery to me. You're a very smart individual with a very weak character, leadership and decision-making skills. Do you have anything to say to me? Anything! He says. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I mean, this guy is a, an idiot. That crap where he's, like, got a Japanese captain in there as well. That's really weird. Uh, yeah. Well, that's because you know, they're shit. fighting. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so stupid, isn't it? Yeah. You, you know the main guy... Do you know the other two 2012 films he was in? He's in John Carter of Mars, isn't he? He is. And he was also in Oliver Stone's Savages. All three of them were huge flops, basically. Have you, this have guy you, seen, have you seen, was, seen John Carter? No, I know I haven't. I've never seen that. We should watch that because that's a yeah. mega, mega flop, isn't it? Yeah. But he's so basically, you imagine his agent, right? We've got three big, <laughs> big, three three big films. Yeah. You've got yeah. three films coming out in the same year. All of them flopped. I don't know what this guy went on to do, but... Um, I mean, oh, he's, he's a crap leading man, isn't he? He's oddly, he is uh, in uh, Wolverine. He plays Gambit in Wolverine uh, for like three seconds when you see Gambit. Um, so anyway, um, more Rimpack goes on. Uh, they're on ships now. They're doing manoeuvres. Um, Rihanna is on the ship with the main guy who is in control of the ship. And I don't really know why he's in control of one ship. His brother's in control of another ship. The Japanese guy that Chris said is in control of a third ship. There are five ships, I believe, at this point. Um, I think so. It seems like he... I think he's, like, in charge of that room on that day. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> and <laughs> Make it sound so lame. Just that room. <laughs> <laughs> he's, on, he's in charge of that room on that day. <laughs> Inexplicably, because I don't think you should even be at that level. <laughs> I love that idea. It could have been any room in the ship. Yeah. And he happens to be the highest ranking officer when everyone else dies, basically, doesn't he? I think a lot of people have to be killed above him. I mean, four ships worth of people pretty much die. <laughs> um, and the only reason the Japanese guy doesn't take command is because he's in an, from a foreign country, I would say, at this point. I mean... He- I mean, he's quite high rank that Japanese guy, and that's what yeah. I didn't like about him. They dragged him in, yeah, for that fight. Yeah, when they go like go investigate this, and they send three American ships and a Japanese one, I, I, well, surely they can't order around, can they? I wouldn't think so. I no. think they are organised in the sense of like you know a coalition. Yeah. yeah, they are. Right. You know, they've got particular <laughs> jobs, you know. Another link between this film and the next film we're going to do is that a lot of time, lot in the beginning here, they just think this is some very odd military war Recruiting game. Recruiting video. Yeah, well, well, that's true as well. <clears throat> but they think that it's some kind of fake war game, don't they? That they've been set, like the challenge of beating... Yeah, yeah that doesn't eight. make much sense, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it makes... More sense in this than it did in the this next film the we one, do. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, if you think about the scale of the the guy, you know, what they have to do. Um, any... That's what's happened with the aliens, though. Let's go back to what's happening going on with the aliens. Well, no, no, Chris, I can't tell you that, because at this point we cut away to talk about the Admiral's daughter who has got to rehabilitate a veteran oh, who has sorry, no yeah, legs. Oh, yeah, the physio, physiotherapy. Yeah, just as we were actually yeah. getting to some battleships, <laughs> yeah. we cut away completely... And have this really depressing scene about all these disfigured and disabled military people who are... This guy who she helped. I think actually all these people are military vets. They're actually real vets. Yeah, yeah he guy, really is, so. yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he Which is. Which is pretty obvious because he can't act, can he? So, you know. No, no. I mean, he did a great service to, the, to that country. Uh, but, well, I agree. Uh, he lost his legs. <laughs> Uh, he lost. He lost them coming back. Actually, um, from, a, from a funeral. Yeah, in Baghdad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, he was coming back from manoeuvres, and they were no not manoeuvres from a funeral. He was off, on, at a funeral ah. in Baghdad, and he was driving back to the base, and the car got hit and blew up and lost yeah. his legs. Christ! I like it when he talks about his dog. He's like, "Oh, can you, do you want to take? You can take your dog out for it." He's like, "My dog's dead." Yeah. <laughs> like that and then at this point the main character rings the woman and goes yeah I've messed up again uh, Admiral's not going to get us, let us get married and she's like stop messing up literally she just says stop messing up and puts the phone down on him um, and then just goes off for a big long walk what yeah. kind of job she got where she just right you're in a mood let's just go for a huge yeah. long walk around this island yeah so but yeah wrap your legs on. Number. luckily as Chris said it gets more exciting now because something's in space it's a load of weird five objects. Four of them land in Hawaii. One of I mean, them. Let's just 
review what's going on here. <laughs> Tell There's us. There's interstellar capable. Yeah. Ships. Yeah. Ships. They're so fucked. They're yeah. such fuck ups that they crash into a satellite on the way in. Yeah. Yeah. They are moving extremely the chance- fast though, aren't they? Yeah. But the chances of that are so remote. Yeah. That yeah. I don't even know, it, you know, it's like a bullet going this way, hitting a bullet going this way across yeah. the surface of the earth. Yeah, it's like they're not in control of the ships, that they would think, well, oh, we better steer out of the way of that. Satellite. It's almost like they are set up to for anything because you're going to invade another planet, mm. except you can't crash into basically a piece of garbage, which is <laughs> circling the, that planet without... Destroy yeah. destruction. Yeah. When they show the map of them coming in, they get from like the outer edge of the solar system to Mars in about mm. half a second. They're moving so fast. <laughs> they probably need to do that if they came <clears throat> from yeah, a yeah. long way. Yeah. Well, the one that spins off destroys Hong Kong. Um, but somehow they say Scotland, Germany, France, and yeah. Iowa have been but, no, affected. He didn't say that. He goes, it's affected Scotland, Germany, France... And even Iowa. Yeah. As though, what's, what's particularly what? special about Iowa that it was meant to be, it was yeah. meant to be alien proof. I don't know. They managed know. to get through the yeah. Iowa shield. That's just bits have fallen off, has it? Is that what they're saying? Like, yes. Gone everywhere. Just to jump forward, did you guys watch past the credits? Because there is no. a post credit sequence. The opening credits. No, well, yeah, there's a post credit <laughs> sequence in this film. It, yes, yeah, set in Scotland. Oh, is there? Yeah. To is do that with- a sequel? Maybe. Please. I don't know. Please do tell. <clears throat> yeah, we'll, we'll get there. But uh yeah, so then as so basically yeah, China gets mucked up, uh everything's pretty awful. And that's bad luck as well, right? In yeah. all the places it could land is like in one of the biggest cities in the world. Yeah. But they're pretty the quick did you see how quickly China was on it? Because they managed to analyse it very quickly to find out that there were no elements from the periodic table within oh, yeah. it. Except one. Yeah. Uh, what was the one? It was Lycinian or something? Lycinium? Yeah, I can't, was that, was, a, was that yeah. element? Yeah. But I and thought that would be a plot point, the fact you mentioned that. It's weird that they, they suddenly mention that one element yeah. and forget about it. They also work out, the Chinese, that they're communication dev- units very quickly. I don't know how they work that out. So yeah. uh, But they do. Um, hey, hey, you know, do you want a quiz to win some uh, yes, please. Oh, yeah. shots in and the... This is about ships. It's about games. It's about board games. So I'm going to tell you the slogan of a game. Yeah. And you're going to tell me the game. So if I was to say the classic naval combat game, you would say? Risk. <laughs> yeah. Know, back ship, yes. Yeah. Okay. So Chris first. Uh, the game of global domination. Oh, risk. <laughs> that is risk. Yeah. Right. So that's one, that's one peg for you. You're going to get one shot. Uh, the ultimate trivia game. Uh, Trivial Pursuit. Yes. The coloured card game. Chris. Uno. Oh, yes. Uh, the classic shake and score dice game. <laughs> shake and score dice game. Shake and score dice game. That's oh, such a catchy um, one. with a little bubble in the middle. Um, oh, no, no, no. No. Yahtzee. Yeah, you got it, Yahtzee. Uh, the frantic marble munching game. Oh, oh Hungry Hippos. That's yep. the worst board game. Uh, a really game, game if, if someone walked oh, actually it was in my house at Christmas but if I, if I had any sort of chance uh, um, way to intervene someone walks to my house with that I would smash it to bits and throw it over the fence because <laughs> that is the most annoying game in the history of the world I'd say this game's more annoying this next one uh, a game of zany action in a crazy contraption mouse trap yes I think that's more you played that at Christmas as well it's fucking nonsense yeah, what's, it's, what, what's in the point of that game it's no point it makes no sense at all it's no point it's awful no it's awful yeah. uh, Chris the original mystery face guessing game. <laughs> oh, that's a good game, though. Uh, is that called Guess Who? It is called Guess Who. Yeah. God, you guys are doing very well. Uh, okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna break, and we'll come back to this to win some more because uh, you, you're doing too well, Sam. A yeah. game that ties you up in knots. Twister. Yes, Twister. Right, you've got four not shots. Not really a board game. You've got four shots. No, not a board game. They're all no. It's no, not I know, I know. Uh, right, you guys, you've got four shots each. Four shots each. Right. Okay, you ready? Um, so, uh, Chris. The thing is, I don't know where my grouping is because... Yeah, you know. it's all gone to shit, isn't it? Sorry. <clears throat> Chris, go for it. Okay, uh, J1. 
J1. No, that's a miss. Sam? Um, I'm going to go G10. G10. No, that's a miss. Chris? Uh, C4. C4. That's a miss. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is really compelling content, <laughs> isn't it? I know. I love it. Uh, I'll go E4. E4. Oh, yeah. no, that's a miss. No. You know when Chris hit earlier on? Was that a one ship he hit? Or was that part you, you, of the bigger You guys ship? destroyed my double, the two the ship, one. the little the two one. Ones gone, right. Yeah, okay, we've okay, got, right, th- there's yeah. four other ships on the board. Right, okay. Chris. Okay, D4. D4. You're going for this D4? Is this weird? No, that's a miss. Uh, I'll go F8. 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 No. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, that's some slippy ships. Yeah, these are some slippy ships. Chris, last shot. <clears throat> e6. E6. Uh, okay. No, we haven't had E6. What? Oh, have, have we? Yeah, I've had E6. I've had, had E6, okay. E5. E5. No, that's a miss. And Sam, last shot. Uh, E10. E10. Oh, that's a miss. <laughs> Guys, you're doing really well, though. I mean, you, you're getting Not there. Not are we, though, really? No, nah, the group is terribly. Yeah. <laughs> you, you'll get there. Right, back to battleships. Yes. So, um, a big... So, the, the, the thing is in the water. So, they send out the main guy and Rihanna to go and look at the thing... And the idiot bloke gets on the thing and just touches it. For, for why? I mean, I don't know why he does that, does he? Uh, it's stupid. And I mean, then obviously, everything from this point makes no sense. No. It all comes, but basically it all comes to life. Yeah. Huge, these massive ships come out of the water, which are based on, they're supposed to, the design is supposed to be based on water bugs, which is kind of, right. you know, interesting. But basically these massive alien ships they're, come out of the water. They're crap ships, aren't they? The design of this film is terrible, I thought. I don't get why they jump like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what they, I don't know what the point of them. I like is. in this film. I like the idea that the aliens are quite human-like. No, they look stupid. The little porcupine beards, ridiculous. but they, but at least they've kind of gone for something that looks a bit like a human because it is a planet that can stay, can sustain human life, as it were. Mm. But I don't get why they create ships that did these jumpy things. And also, they just keep showing that ship point of view with if green, no, red, like... If there's no elements of the periodic table. Well, there's one. <laughs> what there's one. I but I can't remember what that one is, but there is one. How can, how can they be the same? I don't understand. How what, the humans or the ships? Be interested in our planet or... I don't get it. No, I don't know why they're interested. They never say why they're interested in our planet. But well, also, it's a bit confusing because they say they're interested in the phoning back home. Is that like to make... The rest of the fleet come. Yeah. And it, that is yeah. what it is. I, right, I think, okay. I assume so. And that's because they lost their <clears throat> communication one. Yeah. It? Yeah. So they put you know up what, big... I, um, what I don't like about the design of it is that there's no co- consistency, is there? Like, all the different weapons are, like, from different, like, completely different design ideas. Yes. Like, there's, like, little canister yeah, things yeah. they launch out. Just spinning and Canister walls. things are the stupidest things. Like, they take a minute to, like... <laughs> land yeah yeah they go on like this stupid arc trajectory do you, yeah. do you know what the they, easiest what, thing t- to destroy do you know what it says they're based on they're based on the pegs look i don't know if you can see that that's a oh peg. wow <laughs> they're supposed to be based on the pegs of battleships oh, that's the i quite respect that but i mean it's pretty dumb but because they if you that. think they go up and they go land in they're pegging they're, in the ground they're they, pegging yeah. into the ships i could never understand it seemed to me that they only they're a bit like the predator they only attack things that are going to attack them D- didn't you did you see that like so yeah. they don't attack yeah. when the weapons that, come down they don't attack anymore but also the yeah. americans attack first don't they yeah totally yeah but they take out their uh, like the the air base thing though, don't they with Who, them whizzy the whizzy thing that's after the americans attack yeah. though yeah so there's two so basically the things that are going on number 1 this big huge force field comes on which gives us an arena a gaming arena where yeah. there are five ships at this point the, there's five baddies five goodies the five baddies blow up four of the goodies within the first like minutes and doesn't make any sense no why don't they blow them all up i don't know why they don't the, blow the them up. i mean how can they blow them up i mean i just don't get it what why would they yeah, be allowed? Okay. Why would they be able to? I don't. Why did they put the force field up and then blow them up? Why didn't they just? Yeah, no, that doesn't make any. Why sense. Why they bothered anyway? Because they're trying to get to the observatory. Yeah, they've got them whizzy things that they send to the airbase. Why don't they yeah. send them to yeah. the ships? Well, yes. So, so b- before the whizzy things, they blow up four ships. Then the the awful main character gets put in charge of his ship, 
And he's just like, right, we're going to just fucking kill him. We're going <laughs> to, and, ev- and everyone just goes, we've got dead, we've got sailors in the water yeah, who are yeah. dying. Do you want to maybe pick them up first? And he's just like, no. oh, yeah, okay, we'll go do that. So his ship is then populated, as you said, with the Japanese captain and a few other randos, I guess, from other ships. Um, and yes, and then at that point, then out of the, one of the, how does it get out of the force field? The roof opens up, doesn't it? And yeah. the spinners fly out. So these flying the balls field. come out that then destroy... A, a, a... No, the balls need to be inside the, the dome, don't they? Because they go and take everything out in I the thought Hawaiian the Island, right? I thought out of the dome. They get out of the dome, but they launch well, the, the dome, dome is, aren't they? The dome contains yeah. Hawaii, right? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, no, the, the dome only is the, the dome is just at sea, isn't it? Yeah, dome because because sea. Liam Neeson is on his ship and he can't launch yeah, airplanes. Yeah, he can't get into it. Yeah, but he's outside of the dome. <laughs> he's area. in Hawaii, though. But he's in the water outside the port of Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii's not in the dome. Hawaii's not in the dome. No, no, no the dome's no. out at sea. Yeah, it's even which more stupid. Weird Chris. That the, <laughs> yeah, because they because they launch the balls out from within the dome to yeah. outside the dome. Yeah, right. Yeah, and there's a hilarious bit where they someone just flies a plane into the force field and it just explodes, like, it explodes really great. Yeah, so they've launched the balls, which then don't kill children, but do destroy just a patch of road. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Really infrastructure death, yeah. Even though the How infrastructure... How do they not know that there's a kid in one of them people carriers? Well, yeah. Them? How do they know that, yeah, all those cars populated with people, and they seem to bounce through some base and destroy some helicopters, but I don't know I think, why. I mean, because they... Eventually, they get to the idea that they're after this radar, aren't they, to try and find yeah. home. But did they land here intentionally or not? See, this is why I think they're not actually trying to invade us. I think they might have been... I think they might have been just here, like, uh, as like a... Like a... You know, an emergency. McCon- oh. Like, yeah. Oh. Like they, back. they, they yeah. were here... Just because they needed a lifeboat, you know what I mean? Ah, okay. And they were just protecting themselves with the dome. Yeah. And that's why they didn't attack anyone unless they were being attacked. Why did they blow wow. the road up? I don't know anything about that whizzy thing. Those balls are out of control. The whizzy thing. Yeah. Killer balls I think it's control. just they needed to get some of the island in. I mean, yeah. your story makes basically us the baddies then, because they're just like, we're just well, we going to... We open fire, don't we? we yeah, we guys. do seem to Well, that's it. First. It's yeah. like they just came down yeah, and they they were trying to communicate with... They were using our satellites because they must have lost yeah. their, sat, their one, right? Because of that one that goes and blows up Hong Kong, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. Um... And also, just but hold on. That they're on the the guy with the guy with no legs. They're on the island, though, so they must be within the dome. No, they're outside. No, the they're dome, outside they're the, the dome. place with the right. observatory next to them. Okay. Yeah, but somehow you know, you know, that bit, you know when that, those two are on the on the island and the police turn yeah. up. Yeah, and they're going yeah. like, "Oh, you've got to get away from it. It's a real danger zone." Yeah, and then they drive off, and the, the one policeman goes, "Leave your car there to block the road." Because <laughs> they need a car. Yeah, they're in the middle of nowhere. They're not on a road on a no. dirt track. And he's like, "And that's another line that's obviously been ADR in afterwards because it's like off, yeah. so off screen." He's like, "Leave the car to block yeah. the road." And then they all just get Terrible. killed by aliens, don't they? Like quite yeah. horrifically murdered by aliens. Um, yeah, that is what we're up to. So at this point, Alex is the main guy. Alex, his uh, his brothers died. Yeah. So you know. That, so that is sad. Are they about in the that. same ship? They're on different ships. They're on different They're ships. ships yeah. 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 Uh, we we learned that Rihanna's dad believed in aliens all along. He always said that they were going to come for us. Her character kind of makes sense in like she's a low level sailor. Yeah, and as dumb as shit. Yeah, but she doesn't <laughs> need to have this cliched, you know, mystic yeah. black person line, does she? Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's that's bit... kind of problematic. But yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They need some more dumb as shit people to like balance it out, maybe. Yeah. Um, not the worst line is around here when uh, that the main guy goes, I've got a bad feeling, and someone asks him, what kind of bad feeling? And he says, we're going to need a new planet, bad feeling. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't That's remember that. feeling, all right. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's an alien on the ship. Didn't she uh, say a Donald Trump line as well? That's yeah. Good. Yeah, uh, she uh, Mike like... Tyson-Donald Trump hybrid or something, isn't it? Yeah. Says, yeah. Mm. Uh, there's an alien on the ship. Cut to like Mike Tyson, Donald Trump in the White House <laughs> with fucking <laughs> nukes. Yeah. Um, there's an alien on the ship, and obviously the guy that is taken over as the captain of the ship decides to go off and try and kill it because you know why? W- w- that's ridiculous. You'd send anyone but him because he's in in charge. You can't lose yeah. him at this point. Um, and you get to see the aliens now. 
I don't think it's a bad design, but it does just look like every computer game ever, doesn't it's it? It's awful. Looks, yeah. It looks like Halo or like Doom or like more any... stupid. The little porcupine beard is yeah, is and ridiculous. they've got those weird feet that they show their toes are like yeah. <laughs> like weird auto mecha toes. Yeah, they and then they seem Halo, to have a right. weird like arm that can turn into a few like a knife or a. They also they, like... they seem to they, their size varies greatly. They're, sometimes they're hulking yeah. over them, and other times they're like shorter. Yeah. It's a bit yeah. So yeah, they they have a fight, and then his great plan is to lure it outside, and then for Rihanna to point a gun, like literally this yeah. close to it, and then just blow his face up. Um, yeah, he obliges by very, very, very slowly cocking his weapon, <laughs> and then looking around very, very, very slowly. Yeah, um, my favourite bit of the film is now when the disabled guy and the daughter meet up with the scientist. And he bumps into them and he sees the, he's, he's seen aliens and he sees the disabled guy. He's like, oh my God, it's a cyborg. Yeah. And really freaks out. <laughs> like, <laughs> that goes on too long, doesn't it, as well? Like, it's a good 30 seconds when a yeah. Bosch going, cyborg, cyborg. Yeah, so we're kind of at this point going back and forth between the ships, the those three characters, a war room that is discussing the whole thing, um, we that find... war room is completely pointless, isn't it? Oh yeah, 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 it's terrible. Where is that war room then? I don't know. It's um, they say that because the bloke goes, what, "What's NASA doing here?" I guess it's like Pentagon or something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I guess they're also. I mean, the the disabled vet works out that they're trying to communicate, and that's why they're here and they're going up to. I mean, how yeah. would he know that? I, I, always when he's sat in a bush, isn't it? And yeah, yeah, what, it's what, it's ridiculous. Um, also, we. I learned... think he'd be getting major PTSD about now. <laughs> just being in the bush somewhere. Yeah, wouldn't he? a little bit. Yeah. There's also we also learn that there's global like chaos going on. There's rioting because aliens yeah. have come down. I mean, it's pretty next. You know, this is a pretty big deal. Because um, we never come I mean, back. The to aliens that. are really, really unlucky, aren't they? Because the Pacific Ocean is half of the planet, right? Yeah. And they happen to land next to probably the biggest naval fleet that <laughs> ever is put together, ever. Yeah, yeah, but they are, but they're there for the for the that's the uh, radar, aren't they? Oh, they're not there for Rimpack. <laughs> no, they're not there for Rimpack. Yeah. We come for Rimpack. <laughs> yeah. Special guest this year, the aliens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, they they know how to kick they? a football. Yeah. They left the observatory. That's so why they landed by oh, a yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all checks out. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Whole film checks plug out. Plug that plot hole. Another yeah. ridiculous leap is made here when the the stupid ginger guy works out oh. that the aliens have lizard eyes like his pet lizard and his pet lizard doesn't like the sun so therefore the aliens must not like the sun. The best thing about that is though when he, he started working it out they cut to him and there's no score or anything. He's just on the top of the ship, just putting the helmet on and taking it off over and over again. And it's just like the film's broken. Like, what's what's going on? Yeah. yeah. Um, Those, like, peg shooter things that they have. Like, yeah. I'm trying to think, like, why do they have that weapon? Like, it would oh, be yeah. pretty it useless no in sense. space. Yeah. No. no. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Why like, any of it? Their Why ships would be useless in space because they sense. jump on water. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The film does finally start playing Battleship, though. At this point, so this was, this was fantastic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. So I love as well how slow it is that they get they they very yeah. slowly like get all the the bits of the yeah. plot out, don't they? About yeah, and they mm. also really try to scientifically justify it, yeah, don't they? they do. yeah. So they can't track the aliens. No. So the Japanese guy, Nagata, is like, oh, there's this thing we used to do where we would use buoys, and as this ship goes past the buoy, the waves hit the buoy, so therefore we can see the direction you're going in. And it, So, like, put up a grid, and then you see a grid, and you're like, oh... And then you see the buoys, yeah. so you're like, oh, they're playing battleships! This is great. And, I mean, I was like... I, I quite appreciated how ridiculously they shoehorned Yes. The game into this film. I, this was the only proper laugh of the film, I thought. Yeah. I, I'm not sure, I don't know if you meant to laugh, but it was definitely funny. Yeah. Were, it reminded yeah. me a bit of that bit in Doom where they start, it all goes first, go first person. person. Yeah. It's like the film yeah. just going, all right, look, you yeah. know, this is what you the want. The only thing that would have been better if they'd have said, like, oh, activate the defense grid and, like, a big, like, fake board came up from the sea and they were all, like, inside <laughs> of a, lid, a board lid yeah. doing it. That would have been good. I mean, actually, if they'd been made to be on an older ship, they could have actually done it like World War Two with the actual little, pe- like, 
you know what I mean? They yeah. could have done it all. That might have been. Anyway. Do you think the things are like floating on the water so to explain why the tor- the submarines don't just take it out? No, because they're, they're under. Because you see that shark, don't you, swim past? They go, they go way under, don't they? Do you remember the, at the start of the yeah. film? The force field is under the water as well. It's fathoms. Yeah. It goes fathoms. Yeah, but the, there'd be submarines with those ships, though, wouldn't there? I assume. I assume. I don't know. I don't know. Rim pack rules. Are you allowed? Yeah. I don't know how the fleet is deployed. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they play a bit of battleships, and Nagata manages to do like, oh, you don't shoot where it is, you shoot just in front of where it is. Because I mean, yeah. it's pretty. I mean, we could have all probably worked that. Basic out. I mean, stuff. that would have been day. That would have been day one in how to shoot. <laughs> yeah. Guns. Basic yeah. stuff, Nagata. Basic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, he, uh, the main guy. Oh yeah, the. They, I like when as soon as like the guns are not pointed at them, they like just turn it to green and it's like not a threat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Uh they make the meanwhile on the on the land, they make the scientist guy go and get it, the phone and the, the aliens just don't see him as a threat and just let him walk out, don't they? That's really weird. Also, that guy doesn't want to go right, and you can't blame him because he just sat around desk his whole life. Yeah. But the the guy on the legs is like, You are going to go, or yeah. I'm gonna kill you basically. Yeah. But but it's a terrible plan because that guy by all right, should not have come back because he's no. walking into a hostile base and he's just yeah. a dude who sits behind a desk. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like the way they have that transformer noise whenever the ship's doing a thing. It's a yeah. very Transformers... Uh, yeah. um, should we do the second half of the quiz? Okay, let's, let's get it. it. So let's go. Right, so, uh, Chris. Uh, crossword game. <laughs> That's cryptically, more cryptic than you think. Think of a board game that it involves Scrabble? words. Scrabble? Yes, Scrabble. Well done. Um, Sam, the vertical checkers game. Vertical checkers. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Jenga. No, do you want to steal, Chris? You're all going to kick yourselves. Oh, uh, Connect Four. Yes, Connect uh, Four. Oh, you've gone ahead, uh, Chris. The game for your whole brain. Mm. Look on your shelf behind you. You've got all the classics. There. Yeah, you might have it. I'm going to have to pass no. it on, Sam. Do you Sorry. know that one? Uh, Pictionary? No, Cranium. Uh, Sam, a family game? Um, Game of Life? Yes, the Game of Life, well done. Uh, Chris, uh, the game of Quick Draw? Oh, is it Bookaroo? No. Oh, no. Sam, can you steal? Game of Quick Draw? Yeah. Uh... Pictionary. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Chris, you got it. It's Pictionary. Uh, so, Sam, the yes. ultimate stacking game. Jenga. Yes. Uh, Chris, an unsolved mystery with the usual suspects. Oh, that uh, that detective one. Yep. What's it called? <laughs> that detective. Is one. it called Detective? No. Cluedo. Cluedo. Okay. Cluedo. So, oh, Sam. Shit, that game. It Sam's terrible. pulled back yeah. up. Right, Sam. A skill game where you are the doctor. Uh, operation. And last one, the world's most popular board game, Chris. Monopoly. Yes, Monopoly. Okay, so back to the battleships. Take your, do you want to take your shots now? This is a complicated episode, this is. Yeah, I love it. I've got all sorts of tabs going. Right. Okay, so uh, Chris has got four shots. You've both got four shots again, so. Cool. Uh, right, so uh, Chris, where do you want to go? Um... I, oh, sorry, we're doing that game. <laughs> ah, what are we doing? It's madness. Uh, d- g- uh, e-, e nine. E nine. Oh, it was a miss. Sorry. Okay, Sam. B seven. B seven. Mm. Oh, miss. Uh, Chris. Um, are we still doing this. What, um, what do you keep looking at? It gets distracted. See, because I've got a thing here. Right, it's really C, C8. C8. Nope. A7. Uh, A7. Nope. Oh, my God. Chris, two more shots. D9. Nope. J4. Sam. J4. We're all over the place, J4. aren't we? Yeah, you are. You're, you're really avoiding certain areas. Like, uh, no, one more shot each, Chris. <laughs> What's the highest letter? J. Uh, J. 
A to J, J. One to J. J7. J7. No. Last shot, Sam. H2. H2. Oh, no. No. Can I try one more? A7. Uh, okay, yeah. You've done A7. You've yeah, you done A7. <laughs> I'll give you one more shot towards the end of the episode. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, right. So the sun thing, yeah? Let's, let's get this done. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> so, sun hurts the alien. So... Um, <laughs> What's going on? So <laughs> you, it, it glitched. It glitched. You oh, went and said glitched. so about ten times. Oh, and you okay. came back and said it again. <laughs> Am I normal now? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sun hurts well. the aliens. Uh, so they do this really weird thing where they lure them to an. I don't know. They they lure them forward, and the garter's like a crack shot. So he explodes. So this, this, this is the best bit of the film. Did you think right? so? Oh, man. The summer camp bit. You remember this? Oh, summer camp. This is so funny, right? Goes, <laughs> yeah. The, the yeah. main guy's there, the Japanese guy, and he goes to Japanese. The Japanese guy goes, "Oh, I learnt this, you know, when I was younger." Yeah. I, I, he goes, "I don't know what the English word is, but it's summer campu." And then they <laughs> cut to the bloke, and he goes, "Hmm, summer campu," and he's like looking down his thing, and then they cut, they cut off, come back, and he goes again, "Summer campu," and he goes. Summer camp, like he's worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. He yeah. looks at the boat like, how could it? Oh my god, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they blow it. summer campu. Yeah, it's summer campu. Um, they they blow the windows out. That hurts the guy's eyes. So then they like, I don't know. Then that's stupid as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that is stupid. It's not a good spaceship, is it? No, it's not a good spaceship. If that can happen. Um, then also the human weapons seem to be very fast and precise and the alien weapons seem to be like just a scattergun <laughs> <laughs> yeah and not very well targeted as well yeah 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 um so is this you know see I, i've written this down the main characters get a slow a go to the shore and i've written is this force field down now then but the, the force oh, yeah, field... Yeah, must, mustn't it? Yeah, so the force... Unless it's just another little random island. Yeah, no, that's weird. No, because they go back yeah, to Pearl Harbour. because they go back Harbor. to the sh- Pearl Harbour to get the yeah. like, memorial See, ship, that's they? what I'm thinking. Yeah, no, I no, think no, the no. I think I think the, the thing encompasses the islands. Oh, right? so what, they were on the side of the islands and, and Liam Neeson's boat was on the they other were, side yeah, out. Yeah, Liam Neeson's out. fleet is outside. Right, 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 that okay. makes more sense. And that's sense. why they had to send the whizzy things to take... Right. Because there's yeah. also a massive air base at, at yeah. Pearl Harbour, right? Yeah. And they need to explain why the Air Force didn't just go and fuck them up. Yeah, no, right. no. You, I think you're bang on here, Chris. But, the, but, I mean, we've had to really think about this to get to this. <laughs> uh, yeah. To the, so, yeah. So they go back... Uh, uh, and they need a new boat, so they take the Missouri. Finally, they get aboard a battleship at last, so we're actually on a battleship at last. So I looked into this. There's lots of people raging about this. Oh, online. really? What did they say? You can't <laughs> do what they did. What, just turn it on and the, then sail the off? The drifting, the drift. You can't turn on an 80-year-old battleship. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. They don't make the fuel anymore. No, yeah. the 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 shells would be just there wouldn't be any shells lying no. around because they would have been it would have been dangerous to leave the shell eighty year old shells the ammunition so there'd be no ammunition yep. made for that anymore. Most of the doors would be welded shut because it's a museum. <laughs> Those old guys couldn't. They, there weren't enough well, people. You need be... eighteen hundred. You need eighteen hundred people <laughs> yeah. to operate that's that what i always think it's quite Brilliant. fortuitous that like all the officers that all the bits of the ship are still there yeah and it must be mm. it must be quite a physical job running oh, a battleship wasn't yeah. it yeah 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 <laughs> well yeah it's 1940s technology yeah. yeah it's like it doesn't even run on modern fuel because modern these new ships basically have aircraft uh turbines so oh, they wow. use like aircraft fuel them old ones are like oil <laughs> Brilliant! It's uh, <laughs> yeah, very embarrassing, isn't it? It is, especially ridiculous. when you know they got up to the old guy and he goes, "Oh, sorry, old time. I know it might be a bit hard." And he just goes, "What do you need?" Yeah, I think oh, he's yeah. literally called Fuck off Americans. I think he's called Old Salt in the uh, old as, salt. That's yeah. his uh, credit. And that terrible like thunder. It's a rock and roll song. Yeah. Like that terrible like cheesy American like oh, it's rock. Well, when they're just like just shooting at it, yeah. shooting the shit out of it. Well, no, they're just yeah. like yeah, doing stuff and oh, it's stupid. Um, they they do this manoeuvre with the anchor. That is an actual manoeuvre. It's called club hauling. 
Um, You're not in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, though, because the Pacific Ocean is about four miles deep. No, no. I'm just saying that that is, like, <laughs> technically you can do that. Well, they do um, really yeah. drift battleships like that. Uh, Hopper's, like, really order, Hopper's order to drop the port anchor in order to rapidly swing the ship around in the opposite direction is a real-life manoeuvre known as club oh, hauling. Wow. It's very risky, but it allows the ship to re-tack in combat or an emergency. Club hauling was all used almost exclusively on sailing ships, which were much lighter and easier to steer. I was going to say. Yeah, I the, don't think. Yeah, the, the club hall. Ang- uh, the ang- a hang- anchor wouldn't hold that. No. Right. Uh, a club hall on an Iowa class battleship would likely cause severe damage and injury. So yeah. yeah. It's- well, or just snap the chain. Yeah. 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 Um, um, the chain will snap before you break the ship. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Well, that, yeah. that ship, maybe not, though, because in the state of that, <laughs> no. it's been sat in dry dock for, for 80 years. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, they start using them whizzy things on the ships, which is like, I was like, why didn't you do that in the first place? Yeah, yeah. You know, them intelligent whizzy things. They need yeah. to use them on the no, ships. No, I don't know why they never use them. All the time. We nearly get the quote we've all wanted when the old guy says, they ain't going to sink this battleship, no way. But, I mean, I wanted someone to mm. say, they sunk, my sh- they, they sunk my battleship. I don't know why no one says that. It, it really I wanted someone to shout out, like, J9 or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do that when they're on the screen, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. They're the the it's not the they're same, the... really, no. yeah. So, no. anyway, they defeat, they, the trick there. they defeat this final ship, but still the alien's going to send the message... Um, so they, um, I think, was it, don't they, do they, are they blasting the crap? Oh yeah, there's a big fight between the, the disabled veteran and the alien. Um, and it's just a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Like, oh, that's it. It's really fast as well. It's giving up steam, isn't it? They're fighting while the crew are carrying a miss, a bullet between one bit of the boat to the other bit of the boat. So you're (laughs) supposed to be like, oh my God, it's so tense. It's like, no, it's really ridiculous. Um, There's one shot in this, which I think is quite good, right? Yeah. It like zooms in and I think it's like real footage of one of them battleships that they've comped in. Oh, I didn't see. And it like start. It's like uh, it's like a war. It's probably like a nineteen fifties like aerial shot, mm. and then it like zooms out, and it's like it's been comped into the film. It's quite it looks quite good. There's an overhead shot really where you see everyone in, that's under the field force field that looks a bit like battleships. I liked that. Yeah, that's that, near the beginning. Yeah. Everything gets blown up. The balls get blown up. Everything's you know explodes, and we cut to medals for everyone. Where Everyone gets a medal. Um, and there's a silly little joke about Liam Neeson wanting a, I want a check a burrito or, or, or whatever he says. And That um, makes no sense. Well, he's like, oh, I still hate you. You're a shit. Or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you're the worst. You're not going to marry it. And then he's like, oh, we'll discuss the terms of your surrender over chicken yeah. burrito. Which sounded to me as though he was like, you're going to have to fuck me to get it her, basically. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I thought he was saying there. Yeah. So the, the post-credit sequence is in in Scotland. We see a group of kids right. walking home from school and they see a bit of the crashed ship and they try and get in the ship. And then this, it's quite long. This random guy turns up like, oh, Jimmy, get into the ship like that. And then he starts trying to get in the ship and he's got a chainsaw and he's doing all this stuff. And then they finally open the door and you see from inside and this hand just like comes out, an alien weird pincer hand. And all the kids are like, ah, and run off and it just goes black. So an alien survived, basically. Um, Battleship 2. Oh, yeah, I want to see the, like, the hoodies, Scottish hoodies versus... Yeah. They're aliens. Yeah. It'd have to be a yeah, different board game, wouldn't it? They'd adapt for the second one. What could they do? I don't know how they do Maybe it. Cluedo, like an alien like in a in a mansion. Operation. In an alien yeah, operation. wandering around the Highlands murdering people. Um, yeah. Did you know that when this came out, uh that the uh, uh sales of t- Hasbro toy sales declined, even reaching dangerously low low numbers <laughs> on the twenty twelve holiday season, and it's an urban legend that this I mean, film... what is a dangerously no what is a dangerously <laughs> I low don't know. uh yeah. Board game sale. I don't know, but they people blame <laughs> this film for that, uh, and it, people said it was uh, people. It was a punishment for allowing the film to be made with the hopes of bankrupting them to prevent any more movies based on toys. So people thought it was like the public were punishing Hasbro, but in fact it was just mm. the economic slump. Uh, dip. Yeah. Do you know, uh, Rihanna earned more in the year Battleship released than Battleship did. <laughs> Put it personally. Brilliant. And also, did you read that that this film was actually cancelled midway through production? Yeah, there was some crazy they, stuff. They were making it, and then and then whoever, what was the studio? I can't remember. It's it Universal, uh, I think. 
Universal yeah. decided basically it's going nowhere, shut it down. Yeah. And then a new CEO came in and was like, well, if we shut it down, we lost $30 million. We better keep going. Yeah. So they spent $200 million on it. <laughs> put that again in, in marketing and lost, Yeah. I can't believe it was, something like $200 million on it. Yeah. yeah. So. As we pointed out, the, the good thing to come of this, if people at home want to look it up, there's, there's a couple of game versions of this that look pretty mm. decent, didn't they? Like, you know. Very expensive now, very rare. Oh, okay. Uh, before we rank, do you want? Do you guys want another shot? Go on, Chris. Go on, two yeah. more shots, Chris. Two more two shots. shots. A A nine. A nine. No, A is a lost cause. Don't stop shooting in A. I think you're being tricky and putting your ships right in the corners. I think. I think G G two. No, oh, yes. oh. you're going to really kick yourselves when you see the board. I will show you. Uh, one more shot, Chris. D eight. The eight hole. Oh, God, that was so near. You guys are going to be so annoyed. Uh, I'm going to go G3. G3. Ah, no. Okay, you ready? Do you want to see? Yeah. So you, you both. D7. Oh, okay. You want to have a shot? Oh, no. It's, okay. <laughs> it's not over. Give uh, it up. <laughs> D7. <gasps> it's a hit. <sighs> that's, on my, that's on my cruiser. That's on my. Uh, you did aircraft. tell him, though, that like, you were right yeah. next to Take that. Yeah. Aircraft Take carrier. That. Well, okay, Sam, you get another shot. Uh, D, uh, sorry, C7. C7, oh no. <laughs> you went the wrong way. <laughs> okay, oh, let's oh. stop, let's stop. Right, here you go. Yeah. Here's the board. Let's see the board. Uh, bu- 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 What's a nice a photo of the board oh, up bu- bu- onto bu- bu- the <laughs> website. There you go, on, here's the board. Just, Can you see it? Yeah, just point back a little bit and I'm going to screenshot it. Hang on. Uh, 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 hold on. Uh, right, uh, I've got it. Is it? You got Thank it? Thank you very much, I've got it, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's a lot of, lot of pegs. It just looks like more pegs than board. You guys really so. went for it. Can you see how near you were? Like, there's a lot of... There's board, a lot of near board. misses, aren't You're there? Lucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You did really... You both did really life. well. Uh, Chris just won. Chris got one more hit than, uh, than, uh, than Sam did, but he did very well. But anyway, I mean, we've had fun uh, out of this terrible, terrible film. But where does this terrible, terrible film sit on our list? What did we all think of it? I mean, I had really low expectations... So I didn't mind. Were they it. met? Were they met? I actually didn't hate it because I was I was thinking it was really? gonna be so, yeah because it was so bad. I thought it would be so bad. I actually didn't think it was that bad. And I when it did shoehorn the game into the film, I did think well done. It's redeeming effect. Yeah, that I mean I know it's probably only half an hour of the actual film when they do it, but I did like that half an hour. Um, mm. But the main character was such a dickhead. Like he was an awful character. Um, it's no. terrible. <sighs> Chris, that girl character was awful. Yeah, they're all awful. They're all awful, aren't they? I mean, you've watched it. Both. Okay, he's eating. Uh, Sam, so first, oh, yeah, I think it was absolutely dreadful, and I, I think this is bottom five. I think, I think, wow, if you think of the money that's gone into this, yeah, right, and on yeah. every level, the design's terrible. It's yeah, no fun the design to watch. was terrible. It's the acting's like resurgence, awful. isn't it? Yeah, it's like resurgence. In fact, it's resurgence back. is a bit better, really, but. Chris, you've seen it multiple times. Did, is it just been all in the background, or <laughs> what's, what's your what's the... I haven't sat down and watched? <laughs> okay, it I was going to ask what the excuse that, was but... for that, but um, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Just a big Rihanna fan. Um, just really, yeah. It's like it's just like it doesn't make any sense, though, does it? No, it's no, it doesn't make. No, it's not even trying to make sense, really, is it? No. The aliens are just so bad. Yeah, I've never seen an alien invasion film where they're so bad. No, I mean I would say it's. I wouldn't say it's as bad as these. When we hit the list where it gets offensive to me, which is is around Transformers. So I I mean I think it's probably worse than the Fifth Wave and After Earth. It's similar Transformers though, isn't it? I think it's worse than Transformers. But uh, Transformers upsets me because I like Transformers and where's Transformers? I like Battleship. Oh, I'm sorry you had a real loyalty to battleships. That's, yeah. that's the problem here. I mean, at least they are dealing with a property that no one really cares about. I mean, it's not like, you know... No we were gonna... really harsh with Alien Covenant, weren't we? Oh, it sucked so bad. It's not as bad as that. It's not as bad as... I think... Do you think it's as bad as Independence Day Resurgence? Again, though, Independence Day is good, good at what it does, and that does it a lot worse. Do you think it's worse than Independence Day? No, no, no. I, I think it should be under... Um, I think After Earth is worse than this as well. I think we're talking around two, around the fifth wave, 214. 
It's just as bad as the fifth wave. That's just a team bad. I would do two, two, one. Two, two, one. Wow. Just bam. Mm. Below. I think I'm more. I'm close to two, two, one than I am to. I mean, I'm not bothered. It's just battleships, but I just don't think it's offensive. It didn't offend. No, it's battleship. Sorry, battleships. Battleships. Different feel. Oh, that's a sequel. You call the sequel battleships, couldn't you? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> It just didn't offend me, so I I don't think it's that bad. Um, there was one battleship in it. Yes, yes, maybe I, that's I what I get they, it now. Yeah. They, yeah. Um, well, let's compromise, shall we? Uh, uh, above a liter. Yeah. Because that's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Where's a liter? Two eighteen. Below, lost in space. Above a liter. Are we okay with that, everyone? Yeah. I mean, they're all drossed out here, aren't they? They're all... Yeah. So there we have it. The 2012 uh, Hasbro... <laughs> Hasbro film. I mean, I don't think Hasbro were losing any sleep about how bad this was. I mean, they don't care. It's just more money to them, isn't it? Um, what what uh, board game do you want them to adapt? I was going to ask that question earlier. I forgot. Is it a board game you'd like to see made into a film? They're uh, making a Monopoly film. Operation. Point, weren't they? Operation. Operation. Right. Operation would be pretty funny, actually. Uh, I'd like to see them do oh that's something really convoluted like the one you the one with the popping in the middle is called sorry you go around when you land on someone yeah, you send yeah. them back yeah like a, a, something that you really can't Ticket adapt ride. hungry hippos ride. and it's just four giant giant hippos like massacring people in a yeah <laughs> jungle yeah like Godzilla I'd like to see Jenga like a towering inferno sort of film but like it's just Jenga yeah that'd be good that'd be good Jenga you could do yeah would be wooden. They'd have to find some kind of wooden structure. Yeah. Or risk. And it's like the film lasts for like 14 hours and everyone's <laughs> bored halfway through. Bookaroo. Yeah. Yeah. It'd just be like a Western. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm... <laughs> all, all the way through the film, they're talking about this, this, this horse that no one they're can tame. They're just putting stuff on the horse. <laughs> yeah. No one can tame it. No one can tame it. Tarantino's yeah. Bookaroo. I can imagine it now. Lots of swearing. <laughs> They're supposed to be re- redoing Clue, aren't they? Which is sad. I mean, I, look, I like Clue. Yeah, the original Clue's good. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Um, anyway, anyway, we could talk about board games for hours, but we're not going to because it's not the board game rating system. It's a science fiction rating system. That was our show. I hope you kept up with it. I hope you're playing at home, Battleships. Um, and, you know, if you didn't like that because it was a visual thing, I'm sorry, but we were just trying to entertain ourselves. Uh, so, you know, there you go. Um, next week, more battleship mayhem as we go towards the final countdown. Um, Chris will be at the helm and we'll be going b- 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 back in time. Um, anything else to add, anyone? Do you want some apocryphal? I'm going to say it's final countdown trivia now. Cause I don't think it's true. But apparently, the song Final Countdown oh. exists because of this film. Really? Mm. They they heard the title of the film and wrote a song about the title of the film, but I don't think that's true. I think that's just yeah. IMDB oh, trivia bollocks, which is why I'm not putting it in the real episode. Yeah, fair can enough. we put it in the can we put it in the can we put the music in the episode? A small <laughs> clip, <laughs> yes, we can put a yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Ooh. we'll see you next week for uh, final countdown. Until then Bye. Bye. Bye.